Lesson 7. Your mercy reaches unto the heavens. Memory Text. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations. For your mercy reaches unto the heavens, and your truth unto the clouds. Psalms 57 verses 9 and 10. The book of Psalms shows the intimate relationship between God and his people. It speaks of God's fatherly compassion towards his children, acknowledging his understanding of human frailty and compassion towards those who fear him. This personal connection fosters a sense of security and trust in God's covenant promises. Believers find strength and vitality through God's Spirit. This empowers them to persevere in faith and live according to God's covenant despite life's challenges. Psalms celebrates God's everlasting love and faithfulness towards his people. It assures believers that God's covenant is not based on human merit, but on his unfailing love and faithfulness. Psalms serves as a source of comfort and encouragement for God's people, reminding them of his covenant faithfulness, renewing their faith, and inspiring them to live in accordance with his will. His mercy endures forever. Psalm chapter 136 is a hymn of thanksgiving and praise that emphasizes God's enduring love and faithfulness. The structure of the psalm is repetitive, with each verse ending with the refrain, For his steadfast love endures forever. Verses 1 to 3. The psalm begins with an exhortation to give thanks to God, the God of gods, and the Lord of lords, acknowledging his supremacy and sovereignty over all creation. Verses 4 to 9. These verses recount God's creation of the heavens, the earth, the sun, moon, and stars. It highlights God's wisdom and power as the creator of the universe. Verses 10 to 22. This section focuses on God's deliverance of Israel from slavery in Egypt and his guidance through the wilderness. It recalls the plagues he inflicted upon Egypt, his parting of the Red Sea, and his provision of food and water for his people during their journey. Verses 23 to 25. The psalmist expresses gratitude for God's assistance in defeating Israel's enemies and providing them with a homeland. It emphasizes that God remembers his people in their lowly state and rescues them from adversity. Verse 26. The psalm concludes with a call to give thanks to the God of heaven, affirming that his steadfast love endures forever. Overall, Psalm chapter 136 serves as a reminder of God's continuous faithfulness and love towards his people throughout history. It encourages believers to reflect on God's acts of creation, deliverance, and provision, and to respond with gratitude and praise for his enduring faithfulness. Create in me a clean heart. Psalm chapter 51 is a deeply emotional and repentant prayer attributed to King David after he committed adultery with Bathsheba. It's often referred to as a penitential psalm because it expresses profound remorse and a plea for forgiveness. David begins by acknowledging his sin and recognizing the magnitude of his transgressions against God. He admits to his wrongdoing and asks for God's mercy. David pleads with God to cleanse him thoroughly from his sin, using vivid imagery such as being washed whiter than snow. He acknowledges that only God can purify him from his iniquities. David expresses his awareness of his sinful nature, admitting that his transgressions weigh heavily on his conscience. He recognizes that his sin is ultimately against God 
and seeks reconciliation. David fervently asks God to restore to him the joy of his salvation and to renew a steadfast spirit within him. He desires to be in right standing with God once again, experiencing the fullness of joy and fellowship that comes from being in God's presence. David vows to teach others about God's ways and to turn sinners back to God. He recognizes the importance of a contrite heart and a spirit of humility before God. David acknowledges that God does not desire sacrifices or offerings, but rather a broken spirit and repentant heart. He understands that true repentance involves humility and a sincere desire to turn away from sin. Psalm chapter 51 is a powerful expression of repentance, humility, and the human longing for reconciliation with God. It serves as a model for seeking forgiveness and restoration, emphasizing the importance of a humble and penitent heart before the Almighty. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, Psalm chapter 130 is one of the penitential psalms, expressing the psalmist's cry for mercy and forgiveness from God. The psalmist begins by crying out to God from the depths of despair, acknowledging the gravity of their situation. They recognize that God is the only one who can deliver them from their distress. The psalmist acknowledges that if God were to mark their sins, no one could stand before him. However, they express confidence in God's forgiveness and redemption, trusting in his mercy and grace. No matter how dire the situation seems, we can trust in God's compassionate nature to extend forgiveness and redemption to those who sincerely seek it. The psalmist compares their soul's wait for God to that of a watchman waiting for the morning. They wait eagerly and expectantly for God's intervention and deliverance. We are encouraged to patiently wait for God's intervention and deliverance in our lives, trusting that He works in His own time and according to His divine plan. The psalmist encourages Israel to hope in the Lord, for His steadfast love and redemption are plentiful. They affirm that God will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. This reminds us to anchor our hope and trust in God's enduring love, knowing that His grace is greater than our shortcomings. Recognizing our own weaknesses and shortcomings allows us to approach God with sincerity and contrition, opening the door to His mercy and grace. Psalm chapter 130 reflects the human experience of longing for forgiveness, redemption, and restoration. It emphasizes the importance of trusting in God's mercy and steadfast love, even in times of deep distress, and waiting patiently for His deliverance. Psalm chapter 130 teaches us about the transformative power of trust, patience, hope, and repentance in our spiritual journey, highlighting the depth of God's mercy and love for His people. Praise to the Majestic and Merciful God Psalm chapter 113 celebrates God's sovereignty and compassion. It begins by exalting God's name from sunrise to sunset, highlighting His universal reign. The psalm acknowledges God's greatness, surpassing all nations and the heavens. Despite His exalted status, God stoops down to lift the poor and needy, granting them dignity and hope. The psalm praises God for His care and compassion, emphasizing His unfailing love for His people. Psalm chapter 113 magnifies God's majesty and mercy, extolling Him as the source of all blessings and the defender of the vulnerable. Psalm chapter 113, while not directly mentioning Jesus or the cross, 
contains themes and imagery that can be connected to Jesus and the events surrounding his crucifixion. Psalm chapter 113 exalts God's name and sovereignty over all creation. This theme aligns with Christian belief in Jesus as the Son of God who shares in the divine sovereignty. Jesus, through his life teachings and ultimately his resurrection, demonstrates God's supreme authority over life and death. The psalm highlights God's compassion for the poor and needy, lifting them up from their lowly state. This aspect reflects Jesus' ministry, which was characterized by compassion and care for the marginalized and oppressed. The cross symbolizes Jesus' ultimate act of compassion, as he willingly sacrificed himself to redeem humanity from sin and suffering. While Psalm chapter 113 predates Jesus' earthly ministry, Christians can find connections between its themes of God's sovereignty, compassion and universal praise, and the central message of Jesus' life, death and resurrection. These connections help Christians see the continuity between the Old Testament's anticipation of God's redemption and the fulfillment of that redemption in Jesus Christ. Forget not all his benefits. Psalm chapter 103 is a psalm of praise and thanksgiving attributed to King David. In this psalm, David expresses his gratitude and praises God for his abundant mercy and compassion. Throughout the psalm, God's mercy is portrayed as abundant, compassionate, and everlasting. David emphasizes how God forgives sins, heals diseases, redeems from destruction, and crowns with love and compassion. God's mercy is not limited by human failings, but extends infinitely, covering all who seek his forgiveness and grace. It's portrayed as a central aspect of God's character, demonstrated through his actions towards humanity and creation. The recognition of God's mercy and compassion should lead us to obedience. Throughout the psalm, there is an implicit understanding that obedience to God's commands is a natural response to his grace and kindness. As recipients of his mercy, we are called to live in accordance with his will, following his commandments and walking in righteousness. Obedience stems from a deep reverence for God and an acknowledgement of his authority over our lives. Psalm chapter 103 serves as a reminder of the intimate connection between praising God and obedience. As we reflect on his mercy and compassion, we are compelled to respond with lives that honor him. Praising God and obedience are intertwined aspects of our relationship with Him, reflecting our acknowledgement of His sovereignty and our commitment to living in alignment with His will. We hope you have enjoyed the study. We would appreciate a like to this video and ask you to subscribe. And always, keep the faith of Jesus. Mm -hmm.